anyway, there's a pad under here, and it's just to keep the thing from wearing on the fiberglass. And then this is a double peg Yaku, so I put the middle of it right right about here. The single peg, the single peg ones are a little bit different. And you just tie a piece on here. You just tie one end on here. Kind of just put it on there. And then I take it and go through here. The main thing when you're doing this is just try to keep the line from getting dirt in it so you don't step on it. You want to measure it? No, it's fine. Pull it a little bit tight when you're first starting. This goes back here like that. And then we're going to try to run it flat. You don't want to start climbing the peg. Okay, go ahead and push it through. First one goes on the outside. Where is this? This is the double peg one. Yeah. Oh, my hands are so cold. Kind of like tying flies to get a closer Used to tie flies? Yeah, I still have that video, Jan. Okay, then on this part here, on the outside, you rig it to the outside. On the inside, you rig it to the inside. And it's to keep everything flat and lined up. <coughs> No, the other hole. You're right. Got it? Can we do five? How many? Yeah, we do at least five. Some for now. Wrap yeah. around the peg, but then it can snap it right on. Oh, damn bad. A lot of torque going on these things. Yeah, if you see somebody that's rigged where they've gone up the peg, I would suggest you don't get in that canoe with them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, these are just 
you know, cheesy wood. They look like there's glue on there, too. Oh, they go, they go in. Uh, we crossed again, sorry. We're up there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get one more time. Yeah. We've only got four on this one. Oh, oh. God, you get Otherwise, you're kind of not good, you know? <coughs> we got plenty of wine. You know, when I'm doing this, I'm just keeping my hand on it just to keep a little tension in it. Well, they already did that. Are you kidding me? Oh, they lined up last year. They did five. About five. Five. At least five on each one. This one's got five, these have got this one's got six. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Exactly what I told you not to do, standing on it. <laughs> you know I saw that and I almost called you out for it. <laughs> this is where you get tension. And when you go around here and you pull this thing, it tightens it all up. And I try to get underneath. I usually run through you. Know. Sometimes when you're doing this part, you accidentally move it and you have to take it all apart to do it all over again. <laughs> Then here, you go like this. Well, but you got like a ton of Yeah, so it's kind of like. Do we want to be under or is it okay? It goes up above. You don't want it under on this one because it'll slip off and then you'll have slack. Okay. 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 Now we're just going to go right So maybe just bundle it up and just start going around. You want to get over here, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, I'll send you that when I took the mm Okay, this is an important part here. Does the CBD work? When you pull this thing through, <laughs> like here, you pull it. You pull it just a little bit. You don't go any farther than that. If you pull it all the way through here, when this stuff shrinks, you can't get it back out. That's when you got to get a screwdriver and a knife and all kinds of nasty stuff. Try <laughs> it. And then you, ga you gouge, you gouge the yaku. Wow. And if I see you do that, then I get upset. <laughs> you can get yelled at. There you go. That's it. Easy peasy. Thanks.